Hi everybody, it's Jess here from nigeza.co.uk and I'm here with a project that I'm doing for a challenge over at Stamping for All and the challenge is Mirror Image. So I've made this card here and I've mirrored this image here down here in the water as though it's a uh, reflection. Okay, so stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. So I'm using Basic Grey Archival and I'm stamping the lady with the umbrella. In the middle of the card. And then I want to get the mirror effect coming down. So I'm going to stamp it on this piece of acetate and I'm going to stamp it I don't want that shadowy bit I just want the feet and then I managed to get something on my card there I'm just going to put that down there and then just rub to get it off. I moved. There we go. So, and it's it's not a perfect image, but this is going to be ripples in the water. So I don't actually want it to be um, or need it to be um, a perfect image. So I'm going to be using. Um, This little, this little image here to bring it down. And I'm going to use Dapper Denim. stamp off once stamp it down In the effect here of rippling water. And then I want to do some sky across the top. So I've cut a mask here to go over the Melian Lady. And I'm going to do full strength, half strength. Third strength. Turn it round in the hand. Go up there. And then come down here. So we've got sky and water all looking quite different. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I'm using the um, 
wishing you brighter days to come. And I'm using a stamper me jig. And so I've stamped it on a bit of acetate because I don't know where the one is that came with it. Um, that's going across there. That's going there. Could have got this ready, but I forgot. So that's the stamping done, and I'm just going to do a bit of colouring. Um, I've used the archival because I'm going to use the watercolour. Use the watercolour pencils, and I'm doing a bit of clips of coral on the skin, just do a little bit of a line down there. I might do a little bit on the shadow. And a bit of melon mumbo. And the umbrella. Because I've been doing so much with the blends. I've been forgetting about my watercolour pencils and how much I like them. So I'm doing rich raspberry. some basic grey on the hair and then I'm going to bring in my blender pen so blend a bit of that skin a bit I forgot to do the colours in the water I'll do that You can do this with an aqua marker, aqua pen, but I quite like the way the blends work. Right, let's get a bit of slight shimmer in the water from the dress. I'm going to bring that clips of coral back in because I've done it a little bit too subtle, I think. Might be a little bit more. And then just around there a bit. There we go. Where's the lid gone? Oh, there it is. And then I'm going to double mount this. I have somewhere. There we go. So I've cut a mat of dapper denim because I think that makes the pinks pop. And then I'm going to put it on a rich raspberry um, base. And you could stick it flat or you could pop it up on dimensionals. I'm just going to stick it flat. Mm. 
Oh. When I come to the end, I've done something wrong. There you go. So a nice card if you've got somebody going through some difficulties, maybe an in sympathy card. And that's the mirroring effect. Hope you like it. All the details will be over on my blog and I will be putting this on the Stamping for All um, Facebook group. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you like it. Bye for now.